All right, let's let's do the story. Uh, Chad has voted that I do the Topaz story. <laughs> Topaz story. Let's do it. Why is everyone playing Honkai Star Rail? Because the game is really good. The story is fantastic. I just did the new patch story on Friday and I cried. Real tears. I was sobbing. It was it was amazing. It was one of this game is like so much better than you would ever expect <laughs> it to be based on the fact it's a mobile gacha game. <laughs> it actually make it's it feels illegal that the game is this nice. It's incredible. Okay, uh, as a story enjoyer, but actually the combat is the combat is good, but I'm terrible at it. I'm so bad at it. I'm like I, watching me do combat is gonna be really cringe. Just so you are aware. Hey, did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penacony. I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. Welt video. Oh yeah. How long is it? It's 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I might save it for another day this week. Cause it's already 10:30. But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. I'm gonna save that one. Hmm. What can I do to pass the time? Huh? Is that my phone? Must be the group chat. Uh. Oh. Can you read this message, Express Crew? Hey, girl, what's up? What? Man, it's kind of annoying how sometimes you click a response, but it doesn't give you that response. Do you know? I picked, like, hey, it's been a what's up? Like, the more friendly one. I know you're busy. I'll keep it short. Here's a wall of text. <laughs> Okay. There's a traditional Bella Boggian festival. And the Bella Boggians now need a heated celebration to lift their spirits. Okay. What? Because this, their festival is suspended. There's a lockdown. Okay. So you want to invite me? And help out. Okay. <laughs> It'd be great if you can come. Everyone is singing. Is Dan Hung busy? He hasn't sent any messages. Oh, he's just gaming. He's in his room and he won't like he won't get out. All he does is get, he's playing Dragon's Dogma too. Ah, that Dan Hung. <laughs> he can't just ignore Branya. Let's go to his room and talk to him. Hi. Had a great laugh watching you and Asmongold in the well. Oh, thank you so much. I also... It made my week, really. It was so fun. It was just hilarious. Like, uh, some of my friends, my real-life friends, were watching the tournament. And after it was done, they told me that they, they were just crying laughing. Like, they had tears in their eyes because it was so pepega that it was just hilarious. So... You know what? Mission accomplished. Okay? Like, did we... <laughs> was that, like, a spectacular display of gaming skill? No. But that's not why they invited me, and you know it. <laughs> you know they invited me and Asmin for one reason. To be clowns. And we did it. Like, we help people have a good time and laugh. You know, that's our job. So, I mean... <laughs> We had fun, and that's what matters. <laughs> so one person in the comments, because he posted a video, and there was one person in the YouTube comments who was like, everyone else is playing a battle royale, and Zeppelin and Asmongold are playing a survival horror. <laughs> like, that's so true, dude. <laughs> yeah, Asmund posted the, I think he posted the entire uh, tournament. Yeah, 
people seem to really enjoy it though. Like the comments uh, were, were, were really positive <laughs> overall. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, Methuselah, oh hey, how are you doing? Thank you for the 11 month resub. How's it going? What's up? Yeah, you can post, you can watch it there. But uh, it was just great. It was awesome. Mike and Noble got the pacifist award. I've never seen that. Oh, really? Well, we should have gotten the Pepe got award. The clown award. <laughs> it was super entertaining. You two are legends. Thank you so much. It was awesome. Like, I had, I had just the time of my life. I'm really happy Don with Han. how it went. Branya just sent all of us a message. Did you see it yet? Yes, I saw it. Then why didn't you reply? Branya's a good friend of ours. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood for idle chat. There's been a lot weighing on my mind he since really the He really is in fool. here gaming. It was... Uh tough on the spirit oh my god he has a bed with no bed frame he's like sleeping on a mattress on the floor and he's playing on his ipad dude you need to get out uh, don hung hey man hey i'm the one who should be <laughs> sorry let's go to ikea i was being too pushy all right you're right you went through a lot on the sienjo take all the time you need Wow, that was surprisingly nice of March to say that. That's... March, are you okay? Come with us, let's go to Ikea and maybe get you a bed frame. Or, or maybe Walmart. Uh, no thanks. I'll be staying on the Express. All right. It's great that Bellabog is able to host a celebration. I hope your trip goes well. Okay, okay. Say hi to our friends for me. Okay. Rest up. You're not allowed to miss the next Trailblaze expedition. <sighs> I'll be there next time. That's fair. We uh, can't he just won't budge, hide huh? forever, yeah. Looks like it's just the two of us then. Uh, pity. He's gonna miss out. We never get the chance to go on a stress-free adventure. <laughs> oh, jenny san thank you so much. It's so nice of you. You have a nice day too. Uh, he's been through a lot lately. I know. But it's still a shame, don't you think? Uh, yes. If only Himeko could come with us. Mm, should we ask Mr. Yang? Mm, maybe Mr. not. Yang? He's still wheezing from the trouble we got into on the Sienjo. You didn't notice? At no. his age, he might not appreciate the extra... Mm, excitement. Oh yeah, he's... Why don't we go he's ask old. Himeko to tag along? She might be up for an adventure. You've been on the Express for a while now, but yeah. you've never gone on a trip with Himeko before, right? Well, now's your chance. Huh. Okay, let's go. Uh, into the hall. Baby. Hey, March. That's a big smile on your face. What's the good news? <laughs> he said March is always nice, Zep. It's just that you annoy the hell out of her. I really do. But l let me tell you something. March is kind of a hypocrite because if I pick the option that she was going to say, she's like, oh. Oh. how could you say something like that at a time like this? What's wrong with you? But then if I say that the risk, like the adult option, you know, like the, the responsible, normal option, she's like, oh, you're no fun. Oh, why don't you, why don't you, you know, chill out a little bit? Why are you so stuck up all the time? <laughs> it's so annoying. Ah, uh, Himeko, there's a celebration coming up on your it's so 6, annoying. organized by the Supreme Guardian, and we're invited to go take in the sights and sounds. You can't, you can't pick something that she's gonna like. Don Hung won't be going anywhere for a while. He's still resting up, so want to come with us? But I always pick the meme option. Like, I mean, usually when I'm talking to her, I, I usually will pick the meme option. Because that's just... I mean... <laughs> I'm an aha follower. 
I mean, considering how you helped us out with Kakolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. We need an adult, basically. We need a chaperone, Himiko. <laughs> ah, so that explains the grin. You're excited about the celebration. Thanks for the invite, but I'm afraid my hands are full right now. Please send my regards to the Supreme Guardian. Make the most of the festivities. You've earned it. You two what? and Don Hung did help save Urillo 6 after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. Oh my god. But I can't be there with March. Only her. Uh, navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Seems like it's just you and no! me this time. <laughs> no! No, no. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. Come and find me when you're ready to set I'll off. go ask Will. You know, maybe he's not too old. I'll go ask Will. It's gonna be just me and her now. Crap. I can't say anything though because this is what my room looks like. <laughs> so, what do you think about my new dress? <laughs> Pretty neat, right? I mean, yeah, it's amazing. Why don't I get any cute outfits? This sucks. Why do I have to dress like that? What? Is I want a cute outfit. It's been sitting in my wardrobe collecting dust for far too long. But now I finally got the chance to wear it. She is the type of person that would go out wearing a tiara. This kind of event doesn't come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same old outfit, are you? I hope not. I hope not. Oh my god, please find something. Uh, please find something else. Uh, let's just pretend I never said anything. Uh, as long as one of us is making an effort. I would make an effort. The game won't let me. It's not my fault. This is so annoying. <laughs> it forces me to wear like a sloppy outfit and then get roasted by March, who has a very cute outfit. This sucks. Pajamas, hot water bottle. Pom pom doll, that should be everything. Let's go. She's like, Oh, you really gonna go out looking like that? <laughs> well, I look so cute. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, if you want to look like a slob, you can. I don't mind, but I'm just gonna look way better. But that's okay, we can just go like this. It's Thank fine. You. Oh, wow, boy. that was fast. Don't you have anything you want to bring with you? <sighs> No, I'll just bring myself. Huh, you do seem to travel light. But don't you at least need some pajamas? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep naked. I was just taking a look at Mr. Yang's records. <laughs> and it seems like Urillo 6's average temperature has warmed up quite a bit. It's much warmer than it was on our first trip there. I wouldn't call it livable just yet. But things are looking up. I'm so happy for Branya and Zila. Ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Bellabog, here we come. Let's go to Bellabog. Whoa, it's a cutscene. <laughs> it's a whole cutscene here. Oh, it's cute. That's Bellabog. Seven hundred years. That's our girl. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. What? Oh, fur! How do people living in all this snow celebrate anything? Oh, one thing's for sure, though. Where there's a celebration, there's bound to be f food. Yeah. Food. Oh, wait a sec. That person over there. That doesn't look like a Silvermane Guard uniform. All in black. Surely they're not... IPC? On this world? Am I going crazy? Oh, it's IPC. What are they doing here? That's what I'd like to know. If they're here to look for Findy, then they're more than just a little late. Hmm, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ask. I've always found IPC staff easy to talk to. Hi, do you work for the Interastral Peace Corporation? Or are you just dressing fancy today? He doesn't say anything. Uh, 
Nope. Nothing. Boss, encounter with two unknowns. Want me to take him out? Over. Oh, uh, he was a kill us. Uh, take us out? Take them out? Uh, just hang tight for a second. I'm on my way. Don't do anything stupid. Oh my god, is this how the IPC does business? They really just shoot first and ask questions <sighs> later? Glad to make your acquaintance. I'm Topaz, an investment expert from the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm here on Urella 6 for a special business assignment. You'll have to forgive my colleague here. People scales aren't his strong suit. Okay, he's just an idiot. Please don't take it to heart. He's just an idiot. Oh, you! You scared the life out of me! We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflicts. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March 7th, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it? And this is my friend and fellow passenger. <laughs> no kidding. I could tell you weren't locals from a mile away, but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. I heard that Urillo 6 only stepped out of the Stellaron shadow thanks to the direct intervention of the Trailblazers. But surely you two aren't. Yes, that's us, the heroes. That is us. The honor is yours. Huh? Jeez, can you be a little more humble? That's what I'm talking about. I can't ever say something that she doesn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I never imagined I'd run into living always, legends here. Always got a problem day. with Fun what Andy? I said. Wow, Miss so Topaz, annoying. you're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. Going wherever businesses require me to be. Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express cruise. Aside from the business, I guess. Yeah, we don't actually do anything like work. Oh, Branya moves <laughs> fast! For business. The crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. It's like, yeah, that sounds like our job. Traveling around. Uh, only we're having fun and not working. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect but i have to agree the supreme guardian definitely knows how to govern a city and that's the reason i'm here on urillo 6 to meet with her i uh, miss march you said you were on your way to bellavog festivities right my apologies for delaying you both that's a nice way of telling us to go <laughs> don't be sorry it's not like we're in a rush want to come to the city with us the snow plains are <laughs> freezing and it's easier than you think to get lost out here. Didn't y'all just say you had somewhere to be? Thanks for the or... concern, but I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for just a little longer. Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again during the celebrations. Oh, uh, here's my contact information. I don't usually respond during work hours, but I'd be happy to chat off the clock. Oh, okay. Wow, I Personal. actually managed to get an IPC executive's phone number without even trying. Okay, what am I going to say that she's going <clears> to... <throat> I'm in charge of a project worth 8 billion credits, by the way. <laughs> As if anyone would ever believe that. <laughs> you two make a cute bear. Don't say that. Uh. Don't anyway, I'd better here. be on my way. See There's nobody time. else that could come with us. Don't say that. <clears throat> we really tried to find an adult, but they, everyone was busy. The where are you going? This is huge. Yet we somehow stumbled onto the same path. <laughs> Fate truly works in mysterious ways, don't you think? Yeah, it does. <laughs> come on, let's head into the city. Okay. Hey, maybe Santa will be here. That would be cool. I love him. Don't don't say pair of cuties. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Stop it. <laughs> cuties. <clears throat> wow. There are people everywhere. More annoying than who Are you sure we're in Bellabog? 
Oh my god. Who tell? Now to check out the main event. The food. Come on, keep up. Who tell is not even in the same like universe of annoying. Like Who tell is annoying in a delightful way. That's enjoyable. Oh, I didn't read it. I'd be so mad if someone gave me this. Uh Okay. Hotel is like endearing. Marge, however, just drives me insane straight up. She actually drives me crazy. Is that Kayla? Okay. Who looks like she's teaching the kids? Next I'll be introducing the history of the museum. Everyone listen carefully, okay? Bellabog's History and Culture Museum was founded 600 years ago and was originally built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa. Mm, so hungry. I wish I could have a red sunset salmon right now. <clears throat> it was built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa Rand. <laughs> They're also, hungry. They're not listening. Guess what? I heard there's going to be a Silver Main Adventure Camp <clears throat> opening in the Overworld soon. It's going to be super awesome. Also, <laughs> those who sacrificed their lives in the war against the invaders 700 years ago. Kayla doesn't know how to talk to children. They're going to leave. Miss Kayla, Peter is falling asleep. <laughs> Enough. From now on, no whispering aloud. If you don't want to have any homework later, you'd better start listening. Oh, now you're gonna you're gonna use a threat to get them to listen. They're gonna love that. Sorry, Miss Pela. Oh my God. <sighs> That's better. Oh fair. no. Uh, <clears throat> now. Oh no. Where was I? She does not know what to do. Oh, I never knew Pela had a strict side. <laughs> uh. Okay. I know all about that because I was a teacher of small children. For years and this is something I'm I think I'm pretty good at naturally because I also have a very short attention span <laughs> Ta -da! Guess who's back? hey it's you two it's your welcome part. back to Bellabog hooray the Supreme Guardian mentioned there'd be <clears throat> mystery guests attending the soul warm celebrations but I didn't think it'd be the Express crew it's hard how have you been I hope you had a smooth journey I should have dispatched Silvermane guards to welcome you on arrival. My apologies. Aw, oh, it's fine. You really don't have to apologize. We're just passing through. It's no big deal. Understood. I hope you both enjoy the festivities. Please make sure you keep your personal belongings safe. Pickpockets tend to take advantage of events like this. We'll be performing additional patrols. Got it. We'll get out of your way then. Bye. Bye for now. Hey. The Supreme Guardian mentioned there'd be mystery guests oh, attending. I hope that. you had a smooth. Well, that. Okay, he's busy. He's working, so we can't we can't bother him right now. You remember a punishment from an ancient world, where those judged to have lost their virtue would be put up on street lamps draped in black cloaks. What? What? Um, like, this isn't there. Maybe it's underground. Let's go to the other side. So yeah, I don't know. This friend... Stroll through the city and take in uh, the hey, festive quick. atmosphere. Sir Ball's about to start singing. Oh, Sir Ball. Woo! Thanks, everyone. Hope you're ready for a great show. Let's get started. Heartbeats will shake me. So rules can't break me. Oh my god. Crank the sound and let your soul be free. Oh, okay. Oh. oh god. I mean, that's. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That, uh, yeah, they need to work on that. 
could have thought just taking a stroll could be so tiring. I mean, yeah, that was pretty tiring. Say, I think we should probably <laughs> pay Branya a visit. After all, she was the one who invited us here. Or we could go check out some other fun stuff elsewhere. <laughs> Your call. Okay. Whew. We, I like how we didn't even talk to Serval after that. <laughs> We're just like, you know what? Let's just... Let's just leave. We'll just like, let, leave her to it. She just seems busy. No comment. I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you, nor anyone else for that matter. Okay. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. So what oh, are you gonna do about it? Looks it? like we have some visitors. She's a debt collector. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Eurela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. She says, your credit rating is in the toilet. And you need to work on it. Oh my god. You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. She needs time to get the money. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the underworld are cooperative. She's kind of scary. Like, what's she gonna do? What are they? What are they gonna take as collateral? Right? Are they gonna come in and like start? Are they gonna take stuff to keep while they're? If they have a big debt. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. Um. She looks a little smug about it, too. Oh, man. What are we gonna... Branya, you in trouble? Is everything all right, Branya? She's I didn't know Miss Topaz was so intense. She seemed nice when we met her. Yeah, because we don't owe her money, March. Like, get with the program, March. It's good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed, she claims to represent the IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. It's like the IRS. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Psalmworm Festival. Oh my gosh, I'm stressed out. It's not even my problem. <laughs> I only heard debt. Uh, since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago. How the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. Right, right. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Wait, so you didn't even know about this debt till now? Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo 6. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. Okay. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. But with strings attached, it right? It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. But that wasn't free wow, money. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So does that mean was Topaz's alone. business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Yes. 
I'm afraid so. Wow, that's so scummy. Holy shit. So, the IPC, we're living here, and they see that an, like, an apocalypse-level problem is approaching. And so they're like, how can we capitalize on this and save our own skins at the same time? So, <laughs> so they find the people that are willing to defend their homes with their lives and say, here's a ton of money, good luck. And then they just nope out. And that's a loan. Wow, that's extremely shitty. That's extremely shitty. Because, like... And now that everything's fine, they're back to collect. That's ridiculous! They had no choice. That's, ex and that's what's extortion. The they had no chance. It took them so long to get They here. had to take the money. If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying yeah. to take advantage. Fuck the IPC. According to her account... The repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was That's 280 so years. Oh my god. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. But now that you're fine, they expect a money. It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC God. discovered that Bella Bog had survived. Pieces of shit. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And the interest. With interest. The debt owed is an astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Before you both arrived, let me talk Topaz to the warned me that if the payments manager. were delayed, <laughs> the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. This is really what IPC is doing. That's how they have so much money. Man, that's like... That, that's so thuggy. They're like... <sighs> extorting people into taking this money. People that have no other choice. I bet they're doing this all over the place. Oh, I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the like IPC had come to rebuild Balabog, not extort it. Gross. We'll have to intervene. Yeah, we have to help Franya out. I don't know how. The IPC is too big and powerful. The Balabogians won't be able to resolve this problem on their own. How is it that the entire universe is fine with IPC being like this? Like, how do they? How does everyone just bend to their will? They ha must have have more enemies than friends. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the, I mean, galaxy, the galaxy, the IPC could crush Balabog like a bug if they wanted to. <sighs> I'm glad you're both here. I know you came for the festival, but now... It's because the IPC is so much bigger than you think it is. It's basically the only reason there is a society across space. It's like Starfleet, but what Starfleet would actually be like. And not what we hope it would be like. <laughs> like a more realistic scenario. Now, I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? Yeah, I like the Expanse. Yeah, I like the Expanse. That's a really good show. Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the Nameless will always be at their side. Let's bring out the big guns. Uh, I don't think we're at that stage yet. Miss Topaz seems like a reasonable person. With your silver tongue, I'm sure we'll make some progress. Thank you so much, okay. both of you. I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. I'm ready to fight. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. Alright. <clears throat> oh, 
Hey, I just remembered. Topaz gave me her number. We might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. She is busy. Stop repeating yourself and tell me where's Topaz? Currently is on an inspection tour at the History and Culture Museum. Okay. Please wait. Okay. Well, okay, we need it. to go to the museum. She, we better think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. She's definitely no pushover. Oh, it's teleporting me there. That's nice. It's like a large business, but also a de facto government. They do stuff a government would normally do, like paying bounties for one criminals, etc. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah. The museum. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. Cherish the moment. Why, of course I will. Meeting <laughs> friends from the Astral Express is always a moment worth cherishing. What do you make of Why this painting? Why would I say that? I don't know. I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. It portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow, you know? Not your everyday kind of sadness. It runs much deeper than that. Yeah, like the sorrow you feel when someone you don't know shows up demanding a ton of money that you didn't even promise them, yeah. What, yeah, like someone who ex extorted you out of their own selfish interest. It's kind of like the sorrow you feel in that it's situation. It's as if the artist had condensed history into yeah, one yeah. poignant but sorrowful image. The artist's brushwork depicts a generation's, no, several generations' hardships. Look, the fact this is tax season right now and I'm working on my taxes, like currently, it, it just it makes me even more mad. <laughs> <laughs> Tax season is not the right time to do this quest because Topaz is going to have to work hard to get me to like her today. <laughs> this poor girl. Uh, seems like you know your art. Yeah, not at all. That. The analysis of an aficionado. I wouldn't take my word for it. The Express has visited many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. I suppose what I'm trying to say is what I'm drawn to isn't the style in which a piece is painted, but its overall value. Yeah, I thought. Its intrinsic value may only be 50,000 credits, but its added value might push the total up to 200,000. What do you mean? Added value. Uh, sorry for <clears throat> crashing your artist party, but we came to talk to you about something else. No, oh, a collaboration between our two Does sides. Did she perhaps? really say? What really strikes me about this painting is how much money it's worth. <laughs> Did she really say that? Not exactly. Actually, we. Let's walk and talk this way. Most exhibits in this museum are of little value. But, with a keen eye, it's possible to find a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Miss Topaz, Branya's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or...? We, uh... uh help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. I don't know how to handle this without threatening her. I'll just say the IPC's demands are unreasonable. <laughs> You're so direct. I like that. I understand. I am direct, yes. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabog's. I appreciate each case has its difficulties, but if I treated every late debtor as a special case, 
the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. She says she's just doing her job and she doesn't make the rules, so, I mean... What a heartless way of seeing things. <laughs> I've heard that before. More than a few times, actually. The Strategic Investment Department is well-versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions. I'm so mad right now. She's like Sally Mae. But Urillo 6 has far <laughs> exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I propose to Branya. Like... She's like the student loan demon. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Oh, that was a close one. Milder solutions aren't the order of the day. Uh, the exhibits here What's are the pretty solution? ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth. Why much. didn't Bronya tell us that? Uh, let's keep moving. What did she? Why didn't Bronya tell us what she wanted? Oh, I bet you. So I bet I can see what's to take over. The Belabogians must pay off their Oh, I bet they do. Death. I bet when they want to take about it. it. It's just another part of the cycle of life. Oh, I bet. They'll be like uh, Belabogs sure ours now. Is that. <gasps> wow! Look, is that little critter native to Urillo Six? <sighs> it's so white and fluffy. <laughs> Where can I find a live one? It's probably extinct. <sighs> I suppose it probably is. Otherwise, it yeah. wouldn't be on display here. How do I'm covering for the bears That's now? That's such a shame. <laughs> they absolutely adore little animals. Have you guys met Numbi yet? I guess they're off playing somewhere. So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Wow, March 7th actually, like, staying on topic? And talking about the important thing. This is crazy. Branya invested so much just to make this world a little better. And now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. Yeah. I mean, that's true. No matter what solutions we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? I don't know. I feel like the Legion is better because at least they're honest. At least they're honest that they, they want to fuck you. IPC, it's like, you know... Oh, here's a little treat, and I'm here to help you, and, like, we're just, we only care about you, and we're just trying to be responsible, and, like, do it. So you're saying there's nothing to that's, worry about? That's more, but like, Branya. nauseating. Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. <laughs> oh my god, I've never been called out so fast. Never be. You just simp for their aeons up, don't lie. <laughs> Look, everyone does. Everyone does. That's why he has the Annihilation Gang. Every, like, that's, it's all people simping. But to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Is that a threat? Uh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? We got a fighter. I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. We got a fighter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should probably take this. Bye. That's not a real call. That is not a real call. Nope. She's pretending to get a phone call right now. What do we do? I don't know. So, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch. She doesn't. We should keep pestering her. You yes. Sure. I really don't think she'll change her mind. We're gonna be so annoying. Uh, I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. <laughs> and as far as the Express is concerned, I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. Um. Yes. Yeah, so what? Like, they're not gonna be able to find us. <sighs> All these vested interests. 
so hard to undo any of it. They don't teach this stuff in school. Wait, did I even go to school? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> did someone send you a message? What? Oh, hey. Give me a shout when you have a minute. What's up, girl? A bunch of rascals came down to the underworld and took over the great mine by force. I asked Vanya what to do, and she told me not to mess with them. Well, don't mess with them, then. Branya's smart. Too late. <sighs> Great. Okay. Those jerks have super advanced fancy weapons with jacked up damage. Oh, God. Crap. We gotta fight. Huh? The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld? Already? Oh, seriously? Yeah. Topaz no. was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, and now they're pulling this stunt? You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute. No, you can't. You can't believe a word they say. Oh, I really did jinx us. I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. Oh, I guess complaining won't get us anywhere. Let's go lend them a hand. March is way less annoying in this quest. Did someone else write it? <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like she's less annoying than Wonder usual. Wonder where I'm needed this time. Zila! Hey! Am I glad to see you two here? I'm not <clears throat> sure how much longer we can hold out. Is anyone hurt? Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few Wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. Okay... Minor injuries? Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey! Just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us! Who do you think you are? They, I think they they do think they can, and they're gonna take this the mines by force. They're What's gonna take the their assets. Got nothing to say? What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? They're gonna seize the assets. A few miners made it out earlier. They looked pretty panicked. Yeah. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset That's what I'm evaluation. Saying. Whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the Underworlders. We'll handle this. Do you let's, think Topaz is around him. here somewhere? Maybe her cronies are acting without her authorization. <laughs> Come on! The person you're talking about, are they in charge of the people in black? Oh my god. Potaz, Pazto, whatever her name is, she Potaz. can wait. Right now, the most <laughs> important thing is to free those trapped in the Great Mine. Potasto. <laughs> what the hell? Potasto. Hey, you two. Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way. You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. <laughs> How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? That's they'd have to be so dumb to fall for that. Seriously, get some lunch, bro. <laughs> yeah, <I'll see. laughs> uh, what's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Oh man. Uh, so it's you. You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the snow plains. Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. Yeah, you'd better start showing your respect. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. That's pretty bad. Team leader? 
You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Martin, sh sh shut up. High five. I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing oh to God. join the IPC. I went through 17 <laughs> interviews low. before they finally hired me. What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? <sighs> IPC? Interviews? <sighs> I don't know what you're rambling on about, but you're really testing my patience. No need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. Yeah, this idiot. Okay. Why don't I have four people in my party? Hey, uh, what's going on? Um, feeling sticky? Why don't I have a full pain right now? Awaken, Dormant Skip. World Cleansing Dragon. <laughs> uh, it's. Oh, Grace. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eternal sleep is not the dead return. Um, that's bad. Come on, Lune, come on, come on, baby. Bloom, do not fret. Repay. I've got to be the most Pepe player of this game that there is. Like, nobody. I'll go easy this time. Nobody beats me on that. Feeling spiffy? I sense a storm. I'm pretty sure. Is there gonna be another set? Hey, how can you tell if there's gonna be another set? I'm gonna do this right now because I'm worried. Okay, no, it's good. <laughs> That's it? He sure took off quickly. You think someone died? That's possible. <sighs> 17 rounds of interviews, and these are the best people they can find? <laughs> what a joke. Uh, oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine won't go down without a fight. Let's set off when you're ready. Um, okay. Yeah, looks like uh, I'm missing someone in the party. <laughs> There's just not a fourth person. <laughs> At all. Yeah, whoops. I don't know why I did that. Ready for action? It's time to... Let's get moving. Okay. I'm ready. Um, there is one guy with the imaginary weakness, which is good. Um, okay, that's fine. This is fine. All we need is to fight that one guy. I don't really have other people. I could bring Jepard, but I think it's unnecessary. Considering we were able to kill that boss in 2.1 story with this team. Hello, it's Mr. Sparog, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Uh, hello, miss. Are you... Don Hung will solve all my problems. I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparog. He's my Hydro Dragon husband though in this game. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should... She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Yes, that's right. Based. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. Based, Sparog. Sparog will handle this. So, it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? <sighs> so heartwarming. Man, she is, seems really evil. Like, so far. You bear the insignia of the Interastral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. You're real 06. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. Wow, that's so mean. Why are you going to talk to him like that? Yarrow 6, do you know what that is? That's the planet that we're on right now. Well, I'm here to let you know that um, it's ours now, so... No one can reverse this outcome. 
Not you, not the Nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that your oh Rillo 6 god. can generate value. Oh my god, this girl. Okay. Yeah, Rillo 6 can generate values. The only thing that matters is the fucking shareholders. The shareholders! In the long run, this is the a way... The shareholders! The only way to ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. What? You think you're gonna get his help? Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. This is... Source code. Or, to be more precise, <gasps> source code that is no able to way. take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. No way! I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. So that's why they put this quest before Panacone, so that everybody will know that the IPC is to be feared. Like, the, people will know that, oh, remember how Panacone used to be an IPC colony? Well, they are not fucking around. And you better not forget about them, because they're gonna get what's theirs at, at any, like, whatever it takes. So you need to, like, remember that. It's pretty important. That's what this quest is about. It's like the IPC coming to take their shit that isn't even there. Taking your shit! Man, I don't want to pay my taxes anymore. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I did a Hawkeye Star Real Quest, and now I'm not going to pay my taxes. <laughs> I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. <laughs> thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard. In the game, I'm in. Within. Uh, there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands lay dormant within. Oh, she's about to bring out a Horizon Zero Dawn. This is my bargaining chip for oh negotiating my God. the higher ups. I'll convince them that your Rillo Six has a place in the company's long term strategies. <gasps> she's like, I'm actually doing you a favor because I'm your friend. I'm the one that's going to make sure you don't get completely annihilated. Like we could start an apocalypse. Or not. Man, this is this is so dirty. It's so bad. But first, it's so bad. I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. She's scary. She's scariest character. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. <gasps> All I can do is make them accept this fact using a what? relatively peaceful approach. Their future's been purchased. What are you talking about? Oh my god. I understand. I will assist you with your plan. What? What? Oh. What? So, you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. What's his game plan here? The future you speak of is beyond my computational range. But my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. What does Farag know that I don't? A different IPC exec would have killed him and taken everything. Absolutely true. That definitely does seem to be the case. She's trying to show that it shouldn't all just be destroyed. Oh my god. Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. Yeah, I guess he's just, I mean, he's logical. He knows what's going to happen if he refuses to cooperate if she's got a source code. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. She is straight up terrifying. Here's to our future cooperation. 
If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparog. That's bad. IPC sucks. All the, the big... miners here huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? Well, the situation here is pretty similar to when big you one. first arrived. It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots, now we're dealing with much more formidable adversaries. Hey, check it out! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over there? Let's capture him. Oh, Take him hostage. Get a knit! Right? March, grab a knit! What? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? Yeah. She's keeping one as a pet? Grab him. Tackle him. Uh, the IPC are all about their sci-fi sorcery, so it's not that surprising. Yeah, Wanna we'll see how bad she wants him back. We'll take care <laughs> of him, though. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Oink. <laughs> grunt, grunt, oi. Oh, he was so, oh, that's so cute. Sounds like you two are getting along. <laughs> What's Numby saying? He says, life <laughs> is ultimately meaningless. <laughs> wow, that's so deep. Oh, come on, stop fooling around. <laughs> Look, you guys, looks like it wants to leave. Oh, looks like they want to find their master. Let's follow them. Okay. Follow Numbi deeper ah! into the great mines. Those people dressed in black are attacking us. Hey, I'm talking to you. Where do you guys store the geo marrow? No, I really don't know anything. It's in the fridge. This place is filled with nothing but incompetence. <sighs> Those cowards. I guess they want to do this the hard way. Yes, kill him. I'll go easy this time. Will Numbi help Yo, us? Sippy? Let's play. Can you find the answer? Yeah. Okay. Heaven's search. Weaknesses? What's that? Awaken through its world cleansing dragon. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't put it on all three! Oh god! <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. A thousand wonders to rate and fight as one! It's, it's actually impressive how bad I still am. <laughs> Crap. There's a... I, I just noticed him. Yeah, he's new here. Heaven search. Rise! Got it. That's what I call a good day. That's what I call. Uh huh. I love Sparkle Moon. <laughs> Looks like Numbie's in a good mood. Uh, but aren't they on the IPC side? Strange. Yeah, that is strange. Maybe there's a. Maybe there's an, another plan. Look, that big guy down there. Is he the one in charge? Hmm. We'll see who's really in charge. <laughs> Let's go. I like how Zila just says that every time we find new people. Huh? Where'd Numbi go? Wow. For something so short and stubby, you're surprisingly nimble. Well, guess that's that. We're on our own now. Let's keep going. Let's go. Hey, you! It started a cutscene. Are you in charge around here? Ah, all local. The IPC is currently conducting acid evaluation work here. Local residents are advised to follow those responsible for evacuation to the... Don't lie to us! You seized the mine by force for yourself. You drove the locals out of their homes. I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Don't you dare show your face around here again! Ah, and who might you be? You have quite the attitude. This is our jurisdiction now. We are all powerful here. Uh... 
I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> yeah, we demand to speak with Topaz. Oh my god, we're both Karens. You know Topaz? Interesting. Yes, put me on the phone with corporate. It doesn't matter. The strategic investment department has no obligation to talk to anyone not related to this project. Karen 7th. In cases where debtors fail to repay within the set time frame, the IPC reserves the right to skip negotiations and take over all assets. We're simply following the rules. What exactly is your problem? Rules are made to be broken. You know, it's funny how the rules always seem to work in your favor, don't you think? This world's been hanging by a thread, and now you're here to pull the plug on it. That's really, like, that's true. I mean, I, this is a side of March I feel like I haven't seen lately. <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Like, she's not acting as stupid as usual. I get to make those kinds of decisions. <laughs> Save your breath, March. I never held out any hope of resolving this problem peacefully. Didn't you claim the IPC was all-powerful? <laughs> well, now's the perfect chance to show us what you can do. She's not growing on me. I just feel like... I actually feel like there's a different person that wrote her for this quest. Uh, if I knew things were gonna get this heated, I'd have applied for overtime. <laughs> anyway, since you seem intent on settling this matter with violence, prepare yourselves for my heavy labor, Janet! Alright, let's go. The game is on. Feeling spiffy? I sense a storm. Awaken the world cleansing dragon. <laughs> this is, we're gonna destroy them so fast. Heaven's search. <laughs> Rise! Welcome, customers. Uh, buff him up. <laughs> now we need skill points. <laughs> I'll see you off. Performance <laughs> points? What's that? <sighs> Bloom. Better late than never. Oh, let's get that. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Locha is such a chat. He has saved me friends. so many times. He's an amazing healer. What would I do without him? Yeah. Let's play for a while. Um. Don't do it. It's worth doing the skill for her every time I think because it. Uh, it charges up her ult. A lot. Nothing major. <laughs> we need points. Oh, we need a steel point. Mmm. See, see how much uh, Don Hung's thing is charged up. This is not a good time to use her her ult, right? Like, I would wait for him to use it and then. <sighs> we were so yeah. Okay. And this has to be redone pretty much every time. Feeling spiffy? The strength. Can you find the answer? Heaven search. Let's settle Wake this. storm and scale. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Eventually needs more skill points than the witch. Oh, really? But I might need to set up a separate team for adventuring. Uh, what am I doing? I need to use this. A thousand wonders to <laughs> fight as one! Here we go. I sense a storm. Heaven's search. <laughs> Rise! Yeah! Uh, who are you people? Not even our tech could take you down. <laughs> we took down the Doomsday Beast, the Stellaron, and Fantilia. Did you really think you could stop us? Yeah. yeah we are the hot shit around here. Sir, we've just received word from the director. Uh, director Topaz? What did she say? Teams are not to disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Teams that violate this directive will have their year-end bonuses reduced by 60%. 
But y'all did that already. 60%? We're done for! Y'all uh, better run. Wait, so they, they went to seize the mine without permission? <sighs> so, are we all good here, or what? <sighs> yeah. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think they'll be back. So, who is this Topaz anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. Or taming fragmentum creatures, for that matter. Oh yeah, Numbi led us to them. Probably because they were going against me. She needs to get the she needs to get her soldiers in line. Because that's a pretty massive uh dereliction of duty if they are just going to do big operations like that without permission from her. That's insane. She needs to pull it together. Like she acts like she's all business, but um that's pretty unprofessional to let them do this. She needs to keep tabs. Instead of maybe instead of being at the museum, she should know where her people are. Uh, it's a long story. They need to get checked. Uh, you're better off. Bellbox in debt. Debt? What do you mean? You should probably ask Branya to explain it to you. <sighs> Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festivities? <sighs> the timing couldn't have been any worse. That's what Branya was really texting us about. She's like, she said it was all for the festivities, but really, she needed help with the situation. Oh, looks like we've got a message. <clears throat> IPC's people to cover the mine, got kicked out. Did you get hurt? IPC won't stop there. Thanks for trying to negotiate. Something just happened here, and I can't explain it clearly. Okay. Huh, I get the feeling Branya's worried about something. Yeah, I wonder what. We'd better go back and see her. Are you coming with us, Steve? Go on without me. I still have stuff to take care of. The miners need to know what happened here. Branya messaged you, which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. Got it, Zila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Come on, to Klipoth Fort! Okay. That was the easy battle. At least. <coughs> Whoa, the cutscene! Don't look like it's easy. By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further. Oh. Miss Topaz. Yeah. <sighs> Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. <laughs> oh no, depart! See you later, Captain. <laughs> They'll be there until the end of time. Jepard's shields are really good. Okay, like, he's gonna be fine. They won't kill them, but they will be there. Welcome like, back. I appreciate your help stalemate. more than I can express. It couldn't have been easy running all over the city. <laughs> That's what friends are for, Branya. You don't sound like yourself. Is something wrong? Oh, I'm fine. She's... I just, I haven't rested in a while. <clears throat> There's just too much happening all at once. It's like, yeah, uh, it seems like debt collectors are here to take everything away from you. Are you feeling okay? Is everything okay? <laughs> we can turn it around because this is a story quickly. quest. Bellabog is crawling with their agents. All they talk about is asset evaluation. The silver lining is that apart from the mine incident you mentioned, there haven't been any major conflicts in other areas. I suppose Topaz must have issued an order against harassing the citizenry. Mm. Still, that hasn't stopped panic from building. People are confused. They don't know where these strangers in black came from, nor what their intentions are. Can't y'all, like, I don't know, pray to clip off? Because doesn't he also... He's the one giving power to Topaz, so I thought y'all were all friends. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I thought that he was the one protecting Bellabog, so can he come Did in? Did you manage to get in touch with Topaz Girl. again? We're curious to know what solution she has in mind. That's the reason I asked for you to come here. I need your advice. Look. Okay. What's that? 
Uh, it's... The contract Topaz sent to me a little while ago. There's a handwritten letter attached. Please take a look at the contents. And then tell me your thoughts. Miss Branya, if you'll permit me to call you that, I'd like to share a story with you from my own life. Numbi is typing this for you? In your eyes, the IPC may seem heartless or cruel, but in reality, we all have a story to tell. As for myself, I was born on a small, unremarkable planet at the edge of the galaxy, a place whose name is known only to the native inhabitants. My home planet was extremely resource poor. To survive, people worked laboriously, manufacturing products for other civilizations in the galaxy, mostly in chemical or heavy industries. Given these circumstances, the natural environment of my home planet became increasingly harsh. I don't recall the exact moment when it happened, but people started wearing respirators just to walk down the street. All you could hear were the wheezing coughs of the people, day and night. <clears throat> because of the smog, from the constant, from factories. I mean... Okay, where are we going with this story? My home was facing its demise. The relatively wealthy chose interstellar migration and started anew. The majority who stayed could only struggle on amidst sewage, acid rain, and dust, waiting for the end. Okay, so your planet was facing a crisis that was making it very difficult for the locals to stay, and then some rich people were able to leave and start anew. Kind of exactly like what the IPC did to Bellabong. So, I don't know how this is supposed to, like, make your point, uh, but right now it's like you're arguing against your own- Finally, one fateful day, the IPC arrived on my home planet. They had the technology to repair our planet's damaged environment. In return for their help, they asked for just one thing. That all inhabitants sign a contract, which would make them employees of the IPC. Okay. <clears throat> so in, hers, in her case, yes, even though some wealthy people noped out and left, like the IPC people did on Bellabong before giving their loans, the IPC then arrived as saviors to fix everything and give everyone jobs at the IPC. Two years after signing the contract, the dark clouds and haze disappeared, and people began to take off their masks. After three years, vegetation and trees began to grow and thrive again. After five years, many animals, previously on the brink of extinction, reappeared. Um, okay, so nature is healing, but at what cost? When I was finally old enough, I officially became a member of the Strategic Investment Department. I witnessed the changes that took place on my home world, and was determined to bring the same changes to many other worlds in the galaxy that were experiencing the same plight. But I thought, um... Okay. Like, what kind of jobs were people given with the IPC? I, I very much doubt that it was voluntary. They were forced, forcefully conscripted into work. They became forced laborers for the IPC. Like, so, it's not like they were like, hey everyone, we're here uh, to save everything, and uh, if you want a job, we got it. <laughs> like, this, it is a little propaganda. I am writing to you, Miss Branya, with the genuine desire to express something important. I know freedom is precious to people, but in reality, there are things of much greater value such as survival. What the hell?
give me liberty or give me death. How many generations of Belabogians will it take to embrace the Never. stars again without Never. assistance? Who can guarantee that every future guardian <laughs> will be as it. prudent and enlightened as you? How can you guarantee we'll that a disaster it. such as the Stellaron crisis will not descend upon Belabog yet again? Burn it all! You won't get your asset? You won't take us? You won't take me alive, Topaz! Go away! <laughs> um. I have already negotiated the best possible deal for you. Once you sign this contract, <laughs> all of Bellabog's debts will be forgiven. Okay. In addition, the IPC will set up a special team to support the reconstruction of Eurylis. I mean, it sounds like such a good deal when you put it like that. She she says she found. It's like a 800% value on this deal. I can understand that for you, this is an extremely difficult decision because you and you alone will bear the fate of all Bellabogians. But because of this, I believe that you will make the right decision. A decision that will truly benefit your people. There's only one nice thing I can say about Topaz. <clears throat> Maybe two nice things. The first nice thing is that it seems she really does believe her own propaganda. And the second nice thing is that without her, IPC might really just come in and kill everyone. It seems like she actually is making an effort to ensure the survival of the people there, which is probably more than most people would do. So, I mean, is it great? No. <laughs> Her words do sound but quite sincere. It could be worse. What do you make of it? Bullshit. It's a load of shit, girl. <laughs> she's a smooth talker, but that doesn't mean she's telling the truth. It's a load of shit. I agree. But it struck me as an honest letter. I found the contents quite moving. Okay. It's hard to imagine she'd write something like this just to deceive me. What? <laughs> You're more naive than I thought. In any case, she wasn't wrong when she said this would be an extremely difficult decision. Should you sell out your planet to the IPC? That's a hard decision. This planet's fate. The civilization it carries, everything that's happened here and everything that will happen, it all rests in my hands. This definitely can't and shouldn't be a decision made by me alone. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, <clears throat> talk to others. We're not even from here, you that know? That thought has crossed my mind, and it comforts me to hear you say that. Right! I don't think it's fair for you to carry the weight alone. Why not discuss it with others first? March, I just said that. Topaz hasn't given me much time to consider. She wants me to decide as soon as possible. I wanted to put it to a vote and let all the citizens of both the overworld and the underworld have their say. But with such little time, I'm afraid that's a lost cause. I'll convene the Klopoth Fort Architects immediately to discuss the contract. As for the locals, I'd like you to gauge their stance on the matter. The people of Bellabog okay. hold both of you in high regard. They'll most certainly be willing to tell you their thoughts. We'll see what they say. Yes, we need to move fast. We've got your back. We failed to convince Topaz, but this should be a piece of cake. Thank you, March. I'll assemble the ministers. Let's meet up here again later. All right. Uh, if we want to make an informed decision, we need... We need to hear from the overworld and the underworld, right? Can't jump. Can't jump. You know what I mean. There's Serval. Well, well, look who we have here. You and March paying us a visit. What's the occasion? Uh, nothing major. Just, just here to chat. Uh oh, sounds like something serious is happening. 
You'd better fill me in. I can guess what Serval's gonna say. What? How is that possible? <sighs> I need a moment to wrap my head around this. Serval, we're racing against the clock. No time for head wrapping. Uh, it's okay. I've thought it through. Serval would were sign? Up to me, I'd sign no the contract. No way! Really? What? Hold on, are I you was serious? Sure she would, yeah. I thought you'd be against Serval it for is sure. A, she's for it. Surprised? My reasons are pretty simple. I'm shocked. Signing this contract would mean we no longer have to worry about what? surviving. What? For most of the residents she was the here, rebel. especially those in the underworld, that would be more than enough to persuade them. As for working for the company, <laughs> people need to work no matter where they are, right? If the IPC tries to take too many liberties, we can always rise up against them. At that point, you won't be able to, probably. You know, I've always longed for the stars since I was a child, which is why I devoted myself to science and the studying of the Stellaron. If someone told me that I could do whatever research I wanted with only a small price to pay, I probably wouldn't hesitate. I see. I suppose that makes sense. Maybe she just doesn't understand how bad it could be. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Okay. I'm shocked that Servalu would be for it without even thinking about it too much, but... I feel like she underestimates the danger. We meet again. How have you two been? Uh -oh. Pretty good. That look on your face tells me something's wrong. I hope it's nothing too serious. Oh, nothing serious. Just the survival of your civilization. Sounds serious. I'm all ears. That's all. How do you feel about that? Good, bad, um... Really? You better not be making things up. I wish it were made up. Unfortunately, it's all true. We don't have much time, Pela. Branya wants to get everyone's opinion. Wait. You're telling me I have to make this huge decision on the spot? Yeah. At least give me a few seconds to think it over. <sighs> okay. I think I've got it. If it were up to me, oh. I'd probably agree to the IPC's conditions. No way. Huh. Okay. Any particular reason? I've looked at some of the climate reports. And based on the data I've seen, It'll take three or four more generations for the snow to completely subside. And that's assuming no other disasters occur. I care more about those in the present than a future I can't be sure of. If the IPC is able to bring about immediate change, then I think that's a price well worth paying. Uh... Yeah, I guess IPC can just solve all the problems with money. Building a better world for future generations sounds great, right? But is it any fun for the engineers and architects who are directly involved in such a pursuit? What? <laughs> That's their job that they volunteered for. I see. So compared to a distant and uncertain future, what you really care about is making sure the people around you have a good life. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Am I crazy? Careful like, now. why isn't anyone... Like, worried... About this... At all? Done, you gotta. You gotta be trail, against blazers? it, right? It's been a while. Done, you're, you're a Didn't chat. Didn't be back in Bellabox so There's soon. There's no way you'd be for it's it. It's been pretty hectic in the city lately. All these people dressed in black suddenly showed up, and even the Silvermane guards have had trouble dealing with them. We need your Do opinion. You need my opinion? Dun, I'm happy to help. Dun's a real one. What do you think, man? So that's who they are. Oh, it's worse than I imagined. The Madam Guardian must be under a lot of pressure. Is there really nothing we can do to assist her? We are here to gather everyone's opinion on the matter. I know this is a little sudden, but we're running out of time. 
What's your take? Why, I'd refuse the contract. That's what course. I thought. <laughs> there is no room for compromise. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, Gun. <laughs> I knew he was a chad. Just look at them. Arrogance, yeah. stomping around here That's as if they what own I the thought, place. Finally. How can such people be trusted? Somebody Who's with to some say balls. they won't breach the contract? Faced with exactly. this sort of coercion. Fuck them. We must resist them with all our might. Never Surrendering is not an option. I can't believe that you're the one to say that and not serve all. I'm so... That's so embarrassing. You must warn the Madam Guardian not to allow herself to fall into their trap. Absolutely. A soldier's perspective is always valuable, Dunn. Thanks for your input. The I'll only base person opinion. in Bellabog. Holy shit. Uh, did we miss anyone in the overworld? Jabar? I think we asked just about everyone we needed to, from what I've gathered. <laughs> Based it seems in like Dunpil. most people in the overworld are leaning towards signing the IPC's contract. It's because most people are stupid, Marge. <sighs> like... We'd better Can hurry be to the underworld and see what Natasha and Zila make of it all. Yeah, Natasha won't be for it. And Zila, no way. No way. Uh, okay. Let's go. I'm so proud. I knew. I was about to be so disappointed if done. Wonder where I needed this time. What brings you two to the underworld? And why the long face? Seems a little out of the blue, but. Since you came all this way, it must be urgent. Go ahead. <sighs> that is a lot of information to take in. Sorry, both I like of you. That part of the song. I, I know you're in a hurry, but I need a moment to think. No stress, Nat. Just tell us what you really think. <sighs> I've thought about it, and... Well, if I were Branya, <laughs> That's what I, I thought, girl. It. No, I know you wouldn't. You're the leader of the wildfire. I won't deny the offer on Why the table you... is a very well, tempting I wouldn't one. do that. And if we refuse, Bellabog will not only have the burden of a huge I death, thought, girl. we may also one. incite the wrath of a very powerful force. That's why she was my healer for so long, before she got replaced by my husband, though. Lotra. But even so, a quote I read back in school came to me just now. Those who are willing to give yes. up freedom for security will end up with neither. The fact that Branya can't see that clearly makes me question her legitimacy as leader of this planet. Don't you agree, Natasha? I think it's time for a Living in the underworld has taught me that this phrase is true. I'd rather trek through the frigid snow. I feel like she shouldn't have to ask. Cage. Yes. Wow. That's a pretty convincing argument. That's Another right. Another vote That's for right. the against file. That's right. Thanks for your insight, Nat. All right. Uh, who else? Where's Sampo? Oh, hey. <laughs> None other than the saviors of Bellabog. To what do I owe the I pleasure? I think Sampo's not here. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised you even remembered an old geezer like me. How could I forget this NPC with an incredible voice actor? But I can tell by the look on your faces, you're probably not dropping by to say hi. Let me guess. Something to do with these unruly people in black showing up everywhere? Well, ask away. It just so happens I'm curious about them myself. Maybe I can be of some help. Well, let me explain to you what's going on, because this is relevant to you too. You probably don't want Bronya making I this see. decision without you, right? That's a tricky situation, all right. A lot for anyone to handle, let alone someone as young as Lady She is Bronya. young. Yeah, that's a thing to remember. But she has to she has to consider that. This is a thing I think she hasn't considered. The fact that if she made this decision without consulting the underworld at all, that she would have a riot on her hands. And she hasn't even thought about that. She's just like, well, Maybe you can go ask them for me. I have like five minutes to decide, so. Mr. Oleg, out of all the people we know in Bellabog, you have the most life experience. Yeah, you're old. What do you think we should do? <laughs> Wanna hear the truth? I'm afraid great ambitions and lofty plans no longer hold much appeal for an old timer like me. What? If this IPC does indeed possess the magical power to restore Bellabog back to its former self overnight, then I think the answer is clear. What? Have you considered the opposite? 
What about if we refuse? The reconstruction plan already sounds like an endless endeavor. And with the added burden of a massive debt, well, is that something we can manage on our own? He's old and tired. He's not the one to talk to about this. What worries me the most is how Lady Branya will handle the backlash from her people. Will she be able to withstand the criticism? Is she prepared to carry the weight of a tarnished reputation for years to come? Slowly tarnished. The last supreme girl. I'm not going to say that. It's way too dramatic. She can handle it. I think so too, but could you imagine having to hear names? Like the traitorous ruler for the rest of your life? If people started calling me some shit like that, I'd make it worse. So that way I'd get an even more badass name. Like, like Zeppelin the Terrible or the Zeppelin the Unrelenting. You know, like why stop at traitorous? Like go ahead and like be as... <laughs> go be remembered then, at Thank least. Thank you for your thoughts, Mr. Oleg. Another vote for the four pile. Okay. I mean, I'd try to be Zeppelin the Great first but if that failed plan b <laughs> would be thorpla the menace the mad queen <laughs> the iron bun <laughs> hey sweetie how are you doing miss march big sister what brings you to the underworld? Why are we asking Clara? She's a child. Hey there, Clara. Uh, We're looking for Sparrow. Sparrow not around? Mr. Sparrow went out for a walk with a lady called Topaz. He really agreed straight away. But for him, it's okay. It's understandable he agreed. Because he's a robot. And he's just going to calculate odds of success. What? Topaz? So that kind of makes sense. Do you know where they went? Uh, I'm not sure. But Mr. Sparrow promised he'd be back soon. Uh, what now? Sparrow's super logical. We should definitely get his opinion. True. Don Hum's always saying that Clara's really insightful for her age. Huh? Miss March, do you want to ask me something? I bet she's gonna be for it. She's gonna be for it. Hmm. <sighs> uh, that's complicated i don't know what to say it's all right clara no pressure just tell us how you feel about it hmm. i i think if we have a choice for the future it should be everyone's decision well yeah it should because when i was playing with hook the moles and the other kids we talked about our dreams everyone has different dreams if we accept Miss Topaz's offer, then doesn't that uh, mean our dreams will never come true? Whoa, okay, actually based. Just taking away people's dreams uh, like that. Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it feels wrong. Oh my god, even this child can tell. You're right. Children see the world as a place where anything is possible. Oh my god. Oh, just the thought of our lives being predestined from birth makes me shiver. Thanks, Clara. Your thoughts mean a lot to us. What if they are anyway, and there's nothing we can do about it? It's a tie. Well, let me be the tiebreaker and say that the <sighs> rules are made All to be broken. All that around has worn me out. So yeah, the a lot final of work. conclusion is the votes are completely even. Uh, I don't know what to do. Both sides have really compelling arguments. No, they don't. Only one side has compelling arguments. <laughs> There's still a person oh, left. Oh, right. We have Nasila. Japard. She's probably still and in the Sampo. Great Mine helping the miners. Come on, let's get going. Okay. Oh. Let's go. I'll be the deciding vote. Back so soon? Any news? Are you, are you feeling all right? You look a little uneasy. <sighs> Important matter, huh? I can tell from your tone that this isn't gonna be a lighthearted chat. But I'm ready to hear it. What do you think? <sighs> I... I think I get it. At first... 
I thought it was just a few IPC ruffians overstepping their boundaries. Yeah, you didn't think the future of Bellabog was at stake, right? Right. I... I need a little time to process this. As it stands, the votes are even. Your opinion will make all the difference. In that case... I... I abstain. What? Your vote is extremely important. You have to shoulder this responsibility. No. This responsibility rests on Branya's shoulders. She doesn't want to be responsible. Not mine. <laughs> no matter the choice she makes, she has far greater foresight than I do. She can see the bigger picture more clearly than I can. She doesn't trust herself. Zila doesn't trust herself. The vote is tied. If I were to give you my view, it would tip the scales and possibly impact her final choice. I'll respect whatever decision she makes, but it's not my place to make it for her. But you live here too. Understood, Zila. This is a difficult decision to make, and everyone feels differently about it. This is what happens when you don't vote. It's times like these that a leader must stand up and do what's needed. Yeah, me. Right. It's Branya's decision. <laughs> She knows what's at stake. She won't run away from her duty. I trust her wholeheartedly. And you think she's infallible? If she asks you, just let her know my reasoning. She just loves Bronya a lot. And I think it's clouding her judgment a little here. Well, it's all in Bronya's hands now. She has to make the final call. I mean, she's the leader. You bet. The Express can vouch for Branya. That says a lot about her character. Uh, the time has come. Okay. Let's go fill her in. Okay. I'm curious to see how she's handling those Klopoth ministers. Let's just lie and say most people voted again against it. But then again, we don't live here, so that would be wrong. We don't live here. It's these people that have to Wonder live here. Wonder where I needed this time. Will you give up your freedom for liberty? I mean, for security. Will you doom the planet to Whoa, IPC the control? Fort's packed. I've never seen this many people here before. What? Oh, jeez, I can barely even hear myself think. Well, that should, I mean, that shouldn't be too loud. A, ho a large office desk that's kept very clean. Let's investigate. Oh, it's the same stuff that's always there. I am chaos incarnate. <laughs> you felt this way ever since you were first glimpsed by the blemished one. It's an understandable idea. It's just that this morality system of Yarlo 6 doesn't approve of this kind of behavior. There's a price to pay for causing trouble at the Supreme Guardian's desk. Luckily, you've built up a record of good deeds and praise along the way. Surely this little slip up won't bother you? Obviously not. Take one big step back here. There must be something precious hidden here. You can't miss out on whatever it is. You begin your work. Let's see what's here. First up is a cute flower pot scene here. Why is it a scene? Because you've seen this year round, and it's never wilted of lost leaves before. Just a fake plant. So sad, it's not fake. Several beautifully bound books are on the desk. You crack one of them open. Empty, empty, still empty. Could these books merely be ornaments to show off the classy upbringing of their owner? There's nothing in the books. How boring. There's something in the closet, or rather, there must be. Otherwise, why are you spending so much energy rummaging through the closet? It can't be to cause actual damage, right? You reach out to the handle of the closet that seemingly contains every single secret in all of Bellabog. Uh, Zeppelin, please stop that. There's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> Stare straight into Branya's eyes. This is bad. She must have found out you were sniffing around ages ago. Oh my god, I shouldn't be doing this right now. This is important time. I'll turn her blind eye today, but I hope you won't do this next time. Punish me, Lady Branya. <laughs> no need to make it weird. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You're not the only one trying to rummage through the Supreme Guardian's desk. 
If it were anyone else, they'd be apprehended by the Silvermane guards by now. But I got nothing. What a lousy bargain. Now I didn't expect to hear that. <laughs> this is the recipe for high-tech protective gear. Oh my gosh. I got loot. Nice. March, you're back. So, what's the verdict? That was a weird What do the people think? We talked to people in both the overworld and the underworld. The final result was a tie. <sighs> I see. I suppose everyone has their own way of seeing things. I can't yes, say I'm they do. surprised. What was Zila's perspective on the matter? She's behind you. I'll say she thought it wasn't her place to say. I should have known. That sounds like Zila, all right. Did you come to a conclusion with the ministers? Oh, it's so loud I can't tell what anyone's saying. It's pretty much the same situation here. Neither party is willing to compromise. The time has come to make a decision. This chaos cannot be allowed to continue any longer. What's she gonna choose? She's going the same. All of you! I know what to do. Hell yeah. I have something to say <clears throat> to the Supreme Guard. Finally, an adult on the scene. Uh, but uh, aren't you? Uh, Himeko? Wait, is that the real you or a hologram? <laughs> it's the real me, March. Real as they come. Finally, somebody is gonna s tell her Ms. not Himeko, to. Himeko, from the Thank Astral God. Express? I. It's an honor. Thank you for all your help in our previous campaign. Things might have turned out differently without your support. If we had known of your arrival beforehand, the architects would have given you a proper welcome. I'm afraid the current circumstances are quite exceptional. I understand, Miss Rania. No need to explain. Your city is facing immense difficulties. My intention is simply to ensure that you have all the relevant intel. Couldn't you have come a bit sooner? I'm not going to say that. I'd be happy she's here at all. I hesitate to call it a solution, but I might have some information that might help. It is my hope that with this information, you will be better equipped as the Supreme Guardian to make a wise and informed decision. Information? Please, tell me what you know, Miss Himako. I happen to have a friend with knowledge of Topaz. What Topaz said about her home world is indeed true, which is why she believes that the IPC's takeover of Bellabog is the only way of ensuring the city's survival. But there is one thing she intentionally left out. Not all worlds that have accepted the IPC's terms have been saved. Thank you. Finally, somebody who knows what's going on. God. Honestly, this was pretty frustrating up to this point. That you mean... I guess, Bronya, she's just very naive. Like, she doesn't know about what the IPC's been doing. And we do. We have that benefit as a player. Performing ecological reconstruction she doesn't on know. the planet carries inevitable risks. So Himeko's here to inform her. Because right now, she just couldn't make an educated decision. And that's not her fault. According to the intel provided by my friend, the success rate for the ecological reconstruction yeah, of worlds using the IPC's technology is 63%. Oh man. Only 63% of planets succeed? That's not exactly comforting. This is the overall average across all IPC projects. The success rate of projects personally handled by Topaz is above 80%. She's undoubtedly one of the most capable people in her field. I wanted to bring these numbers, these probabilities, to light. I think it's only fair that you know all the facts before making a decision. There might be some other info about the IPC you want to pass along. Ultimately, it's up to you, Supreme Guardian, to make the final call. I understand. Thank you, Miss Himako. This information is of great help. 
Regardless of how alluring their promises may be, this contract is nothing more than a gamble. As a leader, I cannot let the future of Bellabog hinge on a roll of the dice. But also... You gotta know that the question here is about more than they don't have a proven track record. Like, what if it was 100%? There'd still be problems. There would still be huge problems of selling out your entire population to the IPC. Who could be conscripted into forced labor? Who could have zero control over their own destiny going forward? Like, this should that should be something you are aware of with this. Even if you don't know anything else about the IPC, you've seen the contract. Bam. I don't know. Now that you've decided, I don't, I don't have to pretend to be impartial anymore. I think you're making the right choice, Branya. Hustling is part of being in the IPC. Astro friends, I have an idea. Ah. But for it to work, I'll need everyone's cooperation. Uh. Oh, hey, Y2K, your thing with Azuna was so funny. Thank you so much. I had such a good time. <laughs> I think it was pretty obvious. I was having a great time. Used to play FF. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy XIV tomorrow because we actually have an FF16 collab event starting tomorrow in FF14 where you can get the Torgal mount and Torgal minion. And I think you only need to have done Realm Reborn to access the event. So I'm really excited. That's going to be tomorrow. So yeah, please look forward to it. <laughs> Yeah. So, first of all, Topaz did not make it very clear that the deal w did not have a 100% success rate. She clearly makes an effort to improve the success rate, but that's, like, a problem with this deal. It isn't the primary problem, in my opinion. I need some time to rally all the residents in the city. And then, I'll meet with Topaz again. She's not going to give you time. I thought you had no time. Please locate her for me. It doesn't matter where she is or what she's doing. And if the IPC is still trying to take over Bellabog's assets, I ask that you do everything in your power to stop them. Don't worry. Leave it to us. We'll find her. It won't be easy dealing with her, but... These two will help me get the job done. Bellabog's future is not for sale. And we'll never forget the friends who stood by us in our time of need. Not once, but twice. <clears throat> Bellabog's future is not for sale. That's the kind of talk I've been waiting to hear from you, girl. Stay safe, everyone. Finally. You should have... If that's how you feel, then why do you have to ask everybody <laughs> about this? But all right, you're coming to your senses. Oh my god. Did you have a fight? The Supreme Guardian ordered me to garrison in Rivet Town with Silvermane guards and automatons. The defense was smoothly at first, but then. I can't, oh my god, I can't read that fast. Y'all, stop it. Stop, I can't read that fast. I can't. Oh my god. Stop the IPC's infiltration. The defense went smoothly, but then Topaz appeared with some special technology that allowed her to seize control of all our automatons in an instant. Yeah. She is taking control by force of your military heading for a certain area in the depths of Rivet Town. Okay. Farog's game is still unclear. Shepard should be waiting for us in Rivet Town, right? Here we go again. Back to our old stomping grounds for another adventure. Spar I don't know what Sparog is playing at yet, but I feel like it's more complicated than it seems. Okay. I think Brani is just afraid Wonder to be like her mother. It would have thrown Bellabog upside down. Yeah, I think that's totally true. That makes a lot of sense. 
she's still kind of coming into her own as a leader too. She's young and home. she doesn't know a lot about the IPC. So her behavior here does make sense why it took a little longer for her to get her footing and crystallize her opinion on what she really wants to do. The Supreme Guardian has briefed me on the situation and asked that I assist you in locating Topaz. Ready to enter Rivet Town? We'll go in together when everyone is set. Keep your guards up. We might run into IPC agents ahead. Good. Um, it's the same deal as before. We can just overkill it with Don. Destination can... reached. Well, would you look at that? Huh. I never would have guessed it'd be here. But I don't see any mech or weapons. This place is completely surrounded by mountains. Surely they, they can't be. Affirmative. The weapons are concealed within the towering rock formations. No wonder we couldn't yeah. find the automaton factory. It was right under our noses all along. Wait a minute. You said these weapons have been hidden here from the very beginning? That means the architects of Urillo 6 never used them in their fight against the Legion. Correct. After the IPC departed from this world more than 700 years ago, no one has possessed the necessary knowledge for activating these weapons. The architects used the IPC blueprints to construct replica automatons. However, the overwhelming majority of the combatants, commanded by Elisa Rand, were human. Hmm. I see. The stories about this world are truly captivating. I would like to ask you a question, Topaz. <laughs> You're awful polite for a big robot. Ask. Don't be shy. If the IPC does not intervene, this world is doomed. Are you convinced of this conclusion beyond any doubt? That's the same question that we were talking about with Himeko a second ago. <sighs> she isn't convinced. Yes. I've gone through countless case studies, and they all point to the same conclusion. Any world that comes into contact with a Stellaron is doomed. On the surface, things may appear to be getting better since the Astral Express lent a helping hand. But sooner or later, the underlying problems will resurface. A looming crisis can often lie hidden beneath the illusion of prosperity, unnoticed by many. Yes, and that's Bellabog's problem. Understood. Understood. That's it? You don't have any thoughts on the matter? Emotional readings indicate that your response is sincere and accurate. That is all I wish to confirm regarding this matter. While my opinion on the future of this planet may differ from yours, it ultimately holds no weight. I am merely a tool, not a decision maker. Wow. <laughs> If only my colleagues had the same self-awareness as you. Come on, Numby. We've got some assessing to do. She's like, if only everyone around me knew that they were also just tools and they don't have any say in the decisions. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Topaz disappeared after leaving Rivet Town. In her absence, her subordinates flooded in and took over. The IPC soldiers are well equipped. It wouldn't be wise to fight them head on. Captain, what do you have in mind? You're right, Miss Himiko. We'll be using the automaton stealth bomb to cover our tracks. Automaton stealth bomb? I'll explain later. Let's get moving. Okay. Uh. Look, down there! It's the IPC! Keep noise to a minimum, everyone. We don't want to alert the enemy to our presence. It's time to deploy the automaton stealth bomb. Well, deploy it. Are you ready? Yeah. Use the automaton stealth bomb to wipe out the IPC threats. Okay. Remember, try to avoid being noticed. Remaining hidden will increase our chances of success. Um... 
When controlling the stealth bomb, press the attack button to tr trigger self-detonation and stun all enemies. Okay. Avoid the line of sight. Okay. This would be easy. <laughs> I did it! Oh, wow! <laughs> we wiped them all out in a single explosion! That's Jesus. what you call efficiency! Yep. It's wiped a shame you had to resort to this method. Including myself. But we had no choice. <laughs> it worked. Oh, you silver main guards sure are a righteous bunch. Uh... I've seen standard issue robots like these before. It's an IPC field team leader. Correct. The exterior is similar to the Grizzly, but its weapons and armor are more advanced. Hopefully the automaton stealth bomb will still be effective. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready to do it again. Are you ready? Use the automaton stealth bomb to wipe out the IPC threats. I like how Jepard, we, we didn't even have to ask him his opinion about this, and he's helping us use bombs to wipe Remember, out the IPC. Try to avoid being noticed, remaining hidden. Meanwhile, Sir Val, who pretends to be, you know, the rebel. Oh, I'm gonna die. Crap. Oh no! It's all right. We give me, Are give me ready? another, another one. Yeah. Remember, try. And we stay hidden more. We watch where he goes, because he's about to turn around. And then we can, then I'll have my chance. Uh oh. Oh no. It's all right. Is it a oh, crab? They reset. Are you ready? Remember, try to. Shit. Oh, I can run. Oh, I can run. Oh, no! It's ah! Are you ready? Remember, try to avoid. Okay. Maybe I need to take them both out at the same time when they're both next to each other. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Wow, that was way easier than I was trying to make it. <laughs> Woohoo! The coast is clear! <laughs> I've made that way harder. To be than honest, I didn't think it would be so powerful. Good thing everything went according to. This is the road that Topaz took when she left Rivet Town. Let's find her and tell her about Branya's decision. Ah, this time, the gloves are off. <clears throat> I like how March actually has no patience for Topaz here, which is appreciated. Mr. Sparog, are you all right? I hope Topaz and her IPC henchmen didn't hurt you. Greetings, outsiders. System functions are normal. I have had no conflict with the IPC's representatives. I thought we might be facing off against each other for a moment. Such a result would be highly undesirable. Topaz is ahead. She had the means to force me to comply with her orders, but chose not to. That is why. He, as soon as he was aware, that she has source code, he knows that, um, like, it's stupid to resist her. From her perspective, the only way to preserve Bellabog is by incorporating it into the IPC. While I do not agree with her viewpoint, I lack the computational power to provide evidence to the contrary. While it is unlikely, I still encourage the avoidance of any potential conflicts. Unlikely potential? Meaning there could still be conflicts. Well, what do you think? Don't worry, March. The Express never pursues conflict as a first means. But if it comes down to it, we won't back down either. 
That's how it's always been. Himeko's right. As long as we can look at ourselves in the mirror and know we did the right thing, that's all that matters. Um... <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, what we have to do is defend the freedom. Why would Topaz come here? Is she looking for something? It's possible. Many mysteries lurk beneath the surface of this world. Okay. It's time to fight. Oh, it looks hey like there, a boss I was starting to think you weren't going to show up. Hmm. This lady next to Miss March looks oddly familiar. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Topaz. I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. And I'm here to nuke your Fum orbit. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember now. The illustrious Miss Himiko. <laughs> Some of my colleagues dream about meeting you. Himiko is famous. Of course. The nameless have quite the reputation. You're following in the footsteps of the great Akivili, after all. I'm pleased to see how well everyone's been getting along. Topaz, based on your greeting, I presume you have a good grasp of the current situation? Of course! The deadline has already passed, but Branya still hasn't signed the contract. I think I can guess what's holding her back. Please, don't misunderstand us, Miss Topaz. We have no intention of opposing the IPC or its board of directors, but we have very dear friends on Urillo 6. Standing idly by and watching them sign an unfair contract goes against everything the Nameless are about. Um, Miss Himeko, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> this doesn't sound like a negotiation. No, it doesn't. Himeko, man, she's amazing. She's like, she showed up and she's like, so I guess you have a good understanding of the situation now. Like, she, like she is, she's acting like she is Topaz's boss. We needn't waste our time, March. She made her decision ten minutes ago. <laughs> There's no fooling the Astral Express. You're absolutely right. Differing views don't necessarily mean one person is right and the other is wrong. However, to keep things moving forward, there's usually only one solution. Blood. We gotta uh -huh. fight. Huh? Oh, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? My superiors have granted me the approval I need. Your vacation time has been approved. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Well, why don't you approve some sick leave? Because you're gonna need it after this, girl. So many eager faces. Why don't I won't you keep you shoot in the them a message and ask for some sick leave? Because you need to, you're gonna have a lot of time to recover. Approval to launch an attack on the members of the Astral Express. Okay. The best kept secret to getting something over the line? Always be ready to turn the table. Go, Numbie. Oh no, not Numbie. Uh-oh. Projects under my wing have no room for error. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Numbi, how could you? Numbi! Let's play for a while. Oh no, but we don't have... That's fine. Dad <laughs> can fix everything. We don't need to do this properly. Awaken dormant scales. Yeah, this is fine. World cleansing dragon. All we need is world cleansing dragon. That's it. Heavens break. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> also, the dead can return. Eternal sleep is the dead return! Yeah! Let's be friends. <laughs> All right. <laughs> crap, I didn't do the... I should have buffed it. Oh, crap. Heaven search. Rise! <laughs> oh no, I wish I had my points. 
Awaken dormant scales. No World points. cleansing dragon. <laughs> Can you find the answer? Good. Um. Okay. She still has her buff. You chose the wrong enemy. Should I heal someone? No. Inevitable. Maybe Receive divinity. Do not fret. Repay. Maybe you should search. Have you seen Lush's revival quote? It's C. I have heard no, of it. No, I haven't heard him say that. Heaven search. Rise. Rip. Awaken dormant scales. Here we go. World cleansing dragon. Uh. Gotta recast that. Ooh, I could. This is a good idea. I think I should put this on Sparkle. A thousand wonders to raise I think I should. Minus one. Let's get his points. Back. Yes. Can you find the answer? Okay. Heaven Buff search. it up. Break. Good. 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 <laughs> uh oh. I'll just focus on the big one. <laughs> Let's Locha. play for a while. Hey, man, just, you're dropping the ball over here. Heaven search. Hey, man, you gotta Rise. heal her. Awaken, dormant skin. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Let's settle this. Receive to <laughs> All right, Welcome, there we customers. Go. There's no power. Eternal sleep power. with a dead return. Okay, good. <laughs> yes! I'll go easy this time. Feeling spiffy? Does that give us a no? Crap. <laughs> Almost got it. But we're that's not gonna be it. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's here we go. Play. Game over. Can you find the answer? I did not pull Acheron. I can't really. Do it. search. Break. Because of adventuring coming up. Incredible. No wonder the Astral Express is so highly regarded. Finished warming up? Now it's my turn. Stop! All of you, put down your weapons! Uh, Branya! Oh, you're here just in time. Things were about to get out of control. Uh, Supreme Guardian? I was starting to wonder whether you'd left the Express crew to fend for themselves. <laughs> That would hardly be becoming of you. I would never do such a thing. There was an important matter that required my attention. Uh, more important than this? <laughs> yes. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. What? Help you? <sighs> interesting i was under the impression you'd already decided to obstruct our operations here i have read your letter word for word miss topaz and your childhood experiences truly touched me your hometown once experienced a similar catastrophe to yarillo six so i can understand your perspective on the issue and the position you have taken it's because of this empathy you have that i still hold out a glimmer of hope Despite what? all that's happened, 
I hope we can still find common ground. What? Through peaceful means. Girl, are you crazy? What are you talking about? You have the money or I not? I have to admit, talking to you is always what? such a pleasure. I apologize for my behavior just now. It, it was, uh, inappropriate. What? what? I admire your determination. What is going on? Seeing as we've come uh, this far, uh, I've changed my you mind. You changed your mind. I'll hold off a little longer and see what you have Here's to show me. Here's what's happened. But She's remember, scared. she knows she can't winning win. over the higher ups won't be easy. We just kicked. She saw what we did to those robots, and she got a little scared. So Branya came in to save the day and give her a an out. Like, are you sure? I understand. That's why I've been taking things one step at a time. Oh my god. The first step was changing your mind. Members of the Express, we'll need your help too. Okay. Oh yeah. <sighs> what a dismal sight. This district. I do remember of entering power. Have you been up. here before? And he had a crush. Yes. Like he had a version of this. This gem is where we put an end to it all. That was a crush. He and was, then she's got the full thing. Again. Yeah, that's true. That's right. That's true. We would be. Then why didn't she just kill us? That's true. Kyle, sorry for the delay. Are we clear to proceed? The path ahead is clear, Madam Guardian. You and your companions can proceed north without hindrance. Excellent. Okay, Kyle. The mountain road ahead is a little treacherous. Watch your step. Let's go. Well, Himiko wasn't scared. What is this place? We've yeah. never been here he, before. Adventuring at right? a smashed stone. <laughs> and he was insane. We've only shocked. recently discovered this domain. We barely made it out Let's of that. Keep moving forward. What I want to show you is just ahead. Honestly, it's a miracle I made it through that fight. <laughs> <laughs> it was clutch. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Hello! Look. The people of Bellabok have not given up. I just want to give them a chance. That's nice. Do you two recognize that broken down machine over there? The engine of creation. I thought you might. Of course. Miss Topaz, I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the engine of creation in your records? Not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such a massive feat of engineering, yet there's not a single mention of it in any of the Strategic Investment Department's reports. She's gonna surrender that to the IPC, isn't she? I may know the reason why. The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog, without any external assistance. The project was led by the first Supreme Guardian, Alyssa Rand. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, designing and constructing it. So what you're saying is, the engine of creation was a weapon constructed by the Bellabogians themselves? Yes, but not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision, one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. It was actually given a much grander purpose. Oh. To help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore their world to its former glory after driving away all those who threatened it. That's amazing. <sighs> Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and 
generations of Pelabogians. <sighs> Madame Rand was truly an inspiring leader. I, not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> She's quite the inspiring leader as well. Uh, thank you. But I didn't really do anything. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together and make them aware that our hard-earned freedom was under immense threat <laughs> once again. Thanks, but I didn't do it either. If we want to preserve this freedom, we must act and show those who doubt us that we, Bellabog, have the will and the ability to control our own destiny. Not wrong. She is self-aware. The outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. The children of Bellabog have made their decision. They have chosen to preserve this homeland with their own two hands. I must say, I didn't anticipate this at all. <sighs> so what are you gonna do now? I mean, it doesn't change I'll anything. I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances with my childhood. Yes. It was a serious lapse of judgment on my part. I agree. My world never had a resolute leader, so people gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. But your civilization has persisted through the snow and storms for 700 years. A truly admirable feat. Then, are you willing to retract your previous decision? As for the debt, we'll find a way to gradually repay it. But it'll take some time. Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is a strategic decision that's been approved by the IPC's top brass. This is not Even her decision. Even if I wanted to overturn it, convincing them would be extremely difficult. Unless... Uh... You need us? Don't worry, Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the Nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. Wow, Nameless are hot shit. Like, na Nameless really have, um, like, the opinion and say of the Nameless it bears a lot of weight, apparently. <laughs> Fantastic. She that actually might thinks just they might work. care about what we have to As say. for the, uh... Reports and We're really popular and cool. That's <sighs> crazy. I'm shocked. We have clout. I'll handle it. Yeah, we aren't just space cowboys. Like we're we're popular and important. Miss Topaz, you mentioned accountability. <sighs> Don't worry. It's it's nothing I can't handle. There are more important things than titles and ranks. Finding the best solution is what matters most. Does she think she's gonna get, like, demoted? <laughs> Will they cut your pay? Won't you get fired? <laughs> That's unlikely. At most, they might just lower my rank and reduce my bonus a bit. But don't worry, I work for far more than just a paycheck. What? Topaz is willing to take a demotion because she's so inspired by what's happening and the people like that like doing the thing that her people couldn't do. Thank you so much for all you've done. That's really surprising. I never thought we'd drag the express into a crisis again, much less one that might cause a rift between you and the IPC. Think about it. Herta almost remembered Himeko's name. That's true. Yeah, that's really, that is impressive. We did need Himeko to come down here though. Rift, I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. She didn't, that's true. And I, I criticized her for that early on. Uh, she didn't. They were off doing all kinds of crazy stuff without her knowing. Put in some good words for me with your bosses and also your uh, colleagues on the Ten Stone Hearts. Can, can you ask them about me and, and tell and then and, and you can tell me if they what they said about me? Oh, thinking about a career change? No. Sure thing. 
I'll put in the best words I can. <laughs> I'm glad we're able to discuss some lighter topics. Well, you all need some rest after everything you've been through. <laughs> I have arranged rooms for you all at the Gerda Hotel, Miss Topaz. If you need somewhere comfortable to stay. Ah, I appreciate the offer, but I need to head back and Now I see why people like Topaz. It's been great getting to know you both. She had some character growth I hope in this. we can work together again in the future. She's Only an interesting next time character under better circumstances. I, I get it. Now I understand. But for a long time in this quest, she was really, really insufferable. And I was like, I don't know how they're going to turn this around and make her likable. <laughs> but she really, she tries her best under a tyrannical system that she is a part of. So, like, A for effort, I guess. I started watching your FX TV vids when Wonder we played with Azuga. Oh, really? <laughs> Did you see? Uh, I was on Allcraft with him a couple times. I was on his podcast. Those were fun. I've been wondering, how did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, she's always watching what an eye we're on doing. The crew. It's just another part of a navigator's job. She watches everything we're doing, and she's just up there drinking coffee with her, like, binoculars. And then whenever we're not handling it well, she's like, oh, shit. Like, all right. Like, I'll go I'll go down there and deal with it. Thought I could take this one off, but... March was no. looking forward to the Soul Warm Festival for ages. Looks like she's missed her chance. This time. I never thought this trip would be so... <sighs> tiring. Time for bed. <laughs> bed. In light of the events that have transpired, we will be taking the following disciplinary measures against you. Your rank will be demoted from oh. P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. But they're not... Oh man, that's nasty. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. Uh -oh. If you have any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. I have no objections. She's chosen to accept the demotion and cut in pay. Understood. Is because there it's anything the right else thing to anyone do. would like to add? Wow. She's she's a real one after all. If there are no further remarks, after all, this she's... meeting is concluded. <laughs> that was nice. But she she didn't oh, have to you do only that. We got demoted one rank. Phew! You dodged a bullet there. Pretty big project to mess up on. Someone must be looking out for you. Oh, they've already left the call. Zeppla, I think you're really underrating how much good the IPC actually does for these fledgling planets. 32 IPC credits have been deposited into your account. <laughs> oh, this voice changer is driving me crazy. Yeah. Let me turn it off. <gasps> oh, Aventurine, oh. why are you still on the line? Hey, what's with the hostility? It's oh not my God. like I'm your boss. Oh, wait. Yeah. I guess I am now. <laughs> my apologies. I'm still getting used to my new place in the hierarchy. Oh, my God. Can I help you? If you've got something to say, say it already. He's just a troll you. He's a troll. Oh, nothing important. Just checking in on you. I told you Urillo 6 would be a high-risk, low-reward case. Why do you even bother? He warned you about it. In our line of work, having a kind heart can be more of a liability than an asset. If you're not careful, you'll end up leading yourself down a dead-end road. He's not wrong. I mean, he's he has a kind heart also, as we've learned. And he saw the situation in Yarlow 6 and was like, oh, I don't think so. Like, if you can choose your project, 
and choose to not take that one, then don't if you don't want to be ruthless. So he just picks his battles, which is honestly smarter. Anything else? If not, I'm hanging up. Wait, hold on a minute. Don't hang up. I get it. You're not in the mood for this conversation right now. Okay. How about this? Something that might interest you. While you were enjoying your playtime on Urillo 6, Diamond was busy taking care of the head honcho of the Building Material Logistics Department. That's why he didn't attend today's meeting. Who's the head honcho of the Building Material Logistics Department? Uh, Terravan? That's right. The renowned Terravan. One of the seven board members. Okay. He's throwing his support behind us instead of the Marketing Development Department for once. <laughs> Oswaldo won't be laughing anymore. Diamond's been a great help to both of us. Your antics on such a crucial day can't exactly have painted the strategic investment department in a good light, you know? <sighs> There's some politics. Since you get the point, let's get down to it's business. The other emanator. I'm currently at Pierpoint. There's a major deal that could affect the whole department. I just so happen to need a reliable project manager for the job. What do you say, old friend? Huh. And what prompted the mighty Aventurine to start collaborating with others? Panacone. What else? What? Oh, because he needed... Oh, right, because he really needed her help. <laughs> that's right. Now that's the kind of reaction I was hoping for. He's all, man, he's so smart. Uh, hold on. He a was like a million Diamond steps ahead. you for this project? A million I, steps. I was expecting someone like Opal or uh, Obsidian to handle it. At least someone higher than rank P46. Honestly, who knows? The family has some pretty questionable characters. If you ask me, doing business with them is a lost cause. He's a genius. But as we both know, the IPC does more than just business deals. Guess it's my time to shine. So, how about it? This is a rare opportunity. Consider it. You never know. You might even be able to make up for your blunder on your Rillo Six. As soon as he found out about her doing this, he was like, "Perfect. This is this is like so convenient for me." Uh, yes. I'll get back to you later. No oh, man, you gotta now. It worked. <sighs> Seems like it's just <laughs> one wild ride after another. That's true, girl. Oh, man. Well, good thing. I mean, she came in clutch. So. I hope I made the right decision this time. She did. I think she's doing her best. Oh, I told her they were extinct. <laughs> the snow is mesmerizing. Nice. That was awesome. So Topaz and Numbi has become a visitor to the Express. Learned a lot about her. She definitely seemed like a completely heartless... Uh, Corpa debt collector <laughs> in the beginning and um, honestly she still kind of is like I wouldn't say that she's completely redeemed because there was some things that she did that was still questionable she did not make it clear to Branya um, all of the potential downsides and risks of her deal she made it seem like it was all you know sweet tea and magnolias and it wasn't and that was a problem um, it's clear that she tries harder than others. You know, 80% success rate on her projects versus 63% on others. I mean, that says a lot. But she really was still asking Yarrow 6 to give up their freedom for security. And uh, she was pressuring Branya very much when there was clearly another option. Always could have been another option, which was to just allow, uh, well, actually, no. Just allowing them to pay off the debt slowly is, I guess, what she managed to get the IPC to agree to at cost, at personal cost. 
uh, through taking, accepting the demotion. So that's kind of how she becomes not a totally insufferable character because she agreed to, you know, let them have this chance, which was good. In the end, it was good. And I also kind of do feel, though, like... <sighs> she believes what she told Branya about the IPC. Like, she believes her own bullshit about the IPC. Because that's how she uh, feels comfortable doing what she's doing as a person with a kind heart. Yeah, so... She's on a corporate grind. Yes, she is. But I don't think, like, I don't think that she is a monster. But she's also, uh, you know, not, <laughs> not blameless and not without, uh, not worthy of criticism for what she does and how she does it. The, both of those things are true. She uh, has a complicated past with the IPC, and in, a way, in, ways, in some ways, she's kind of a victim of the IPC as well. So. IPC is a joke. Yeah, it is. But I was really shocked, too, by how many people were re willing to just accept, uh, without even thinking about it, selling out to the IPC straight away. And we found out who the real ones are in Yarlo 6 really fast. Japard, Natasha, Clara, uh, Dunn. These are people that like would not, they didn't have to think about it. Didn't have to justify this or rationalize it. I'll, I'll never stop, I can't believe it all. It was, it was for it, it was crazy. Her own employees are already dreading their own jobs. Bellabog would be even worse as a super low-level employee. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. This was a great quest. What's the next one I should do? A really good point. IPC has a lot of firepower. You stand no chance. And you will find out later how powerful that company really is. Absolutely true. Like, if you make the decision, no, we will fight. We will not surrender. You are making it a moral decision. And you will lose. Like, you're making a decision that is right. How did you get a score this low? That could uh, spell, the, spell, spell the end for your civilization. Not a decision people can really take lightly. But that's not the point. It's like, in Star Wars, when there's the Ready? empire Here we go. you know should, are you meant to just give up and give in to the empire because they're so powerful like the rebels ha they exist because it's the right thing to do so can't just give in can't just surrender everything that you fought for like that easily yes and they just survived a doomsday event <laughs> exactly 